he would be nice yeah. a player made for arsenal he's a player made for arteta but i just don't see it happening man yeah. why would they sell It's such a good plan. Buy a sale at Newcastle. Who, who are you guys buying? I think they're then they're, they're in some trouble with FFP. Uh, there are rumors that they might sell Bruno Gomes. They might sell Isak. Although I don't see that happening. But you never know. If a good offer comes in, there's Anthony Gordon, R.V. Barnes, who is injured. There's also their centre back, right? I forgot his name. What's his name? Centre back, Fabian Schar. Botman. 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 Swan Botman. So they have like some pretty good players. Who are you guys buying for your clubs? You know the I easy stack. answer for us is uh, Bruno Gomes. But I think the hundred million release tag. is a bit too much i think there can be better options there but i mean this could be a good buy as well if 100 million is not that much in the next market which i think 100 million is probably the new 70 million or something yeah so that way it's not too less and i think he could be a good replacement for parthi for us parthi yeah. or jignio he could sit in the in the mid deep playing midfield and actually play really well for us <laughs> Yeah. I think he also to to your point right to your point the release clause can be paid in like 5 years or something which plays in whoever is going to buy them or if they are selling him their favor so I think yeah. definitely for us nuts for us like he would be nice yeah. a player made for Arsenal he's a player made for Arteta but I just don't see it happening man yeah. why would they sell he's such a good player so... I think it's just the FFP issue I think that's nothing else that that can force their hand to sell any player that they have I think mm-hmm. they'll it's... figure something else out honestly that's what like I like but Saudi sponsorships yeah there's there's airlines sponsoring them yeah something yeah. will come up i think i would tell, love someone like i tell they will tell bruno ke match to al nasser and then they will loan him back that's not that dude that literally happened with this guy right neves mhm mhm They the wolf, the wolves guy, right? He went the midfielder. He went and then he was trying to come back to Newcastle or some place, right? I don't remember his name. The midfielder who was really young, he was like 25. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ruben Neves, yeah. Ruben Neves, yeah. He went there and then Newcastle were bringing him back on loan after Tonali, and I was like, dude, this is some <laughs> next level manipulation going. On. Yeah, but 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 I think I think if if again if you're playing that game, Isaac would be an amazing fit for Liverpool, especially if if with Salah leaving. I mean, I'm thinking he leaves, and yeah. with Nunes not firing and all of that, he'll be that perfect mold of that wide forward for Liverpool on the right or on the left. So Isaac definitely, Anthony Gordon apparently is a Steven Gerrard fan. So I don't know, maybe yeah. we'll see. I mean, my pick was Bruno Gomes, and second one was Anthony Gordon. I think he would be. fire for us yeah. especially with arsenal's or arteta's ability to develop fingers i think he would be pretty pretty good yeah so botman would be nice too but i don't think there's any other so i was looking at the squad out of the apart from these four five they don't have like you know that name that would sell in the market even if they are willing to you know trying to raise some funds so i think isak bruno gomes gordon and botman for me any of those four would be the ones 